8176. Um, okay, full disclosure, I already said I'm tired, but just so you guys know, if I make any misplays, it's definitely not because I'm just bad at the game. That's that's the real reason. But we're going to say it's because I'm tired after a long day of work. That's, that's going to be my excuse. Um... This game, they have three potential Airstream users, so I don't know how I feel about Buzzwell. What are you hoping for the new Scarlet and Violet, tra Violet trailer tomorrow? I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. I might do a live reaction to it, though. I might do a reaction. I'm thinking here... Cali S, or I mean Incineroar 2 and Grimmsnarl is actually quite a good lead. We definitely want Regieleki, and I think my last mon's gonna end up being Zacian. Yeah. Speed swap Porygon 2 today. Top 200 players are funny. Dude, speed swap P2 sounds insane. Hey, thanks for the follow, Echo Fox. Alright. Uh, they actually go exactly the lead that I want. I'm going to be able to fake out and go for a Will O Wisp here. Ritz Cracker, how you doing? Yeah, uh, unless they're Lum, we should be good, and most most of these guys are, like, White Herb right now. Alright, yeah, uh, let's go for the Will-O-Wisp, and I'll go for the Fake Out here. Just reached Affiliate yesterday, hey, congrats. I'm still waiting on my partnership to be reviewed and sent back to me. <laughs> They still have not gotten back to me on the partnership app. It's been like over a month. Yep, there's the D-Max. Cool. The likelihood of them actually going for a Protect here on a D-Max is, is very unlikely. So I should get the Fake Out off. And if I connect this, we'll be good. Alright, let's see. Fake out onto you, please connect. Let's go. Don't be don't be lum, I'll be so upset, please. Please don't be lum. Alright, we're good. Max Quake, that's gonna bounce off of me. Check this out. What I tell you. Pathetic. Alright, I'm just gonna spam Astro Barrage and go for a reflect here. Or, mm, maybe I barrage and... Yeah, I'll barrage and reflect here, and the next turn I can light screen. Even if he's Lummy can't consume because on Nerve, another reason Callie is broken. I always forget about that. I always forget that Callie can just block a Lum. Alright, this is just going to bounce off now. Wake. I'm so used to Kali being able to block things like, you know, Shook a Berry if it goes for like Max Quake. Like, I'm used to Unnerve being used for that. I'm not used to it being used for Lum. Alright. Let's go for the light screen. Is this still the Incineroar 2 team? Yes, it is. It is the very awesome Incineroar 2 team. Honestly, once this Lando's gone, I can just win with my... <laughs> I can probably just win with my Reggie Alecki if I Dynamax it. It's gonna look through all the Tornadoes. Alright. Get my screen off. Um, I should be able to take a Water Spout so I can go for a Spirit Break. Pathetic. <laughs> Alright. If I crit with Barrage, that's going to be pretty huge. I really don't need... Um, I, don't, I really don't need to hold on to my Kali any longer. I'm going to go for Snarl here as well as a Spirit Break. And it's likely not going to work, but the Spirit Break should go off.
Spirit Break you. Oh, Cali dodging. Huge. Got a quick question for the build. Is it optimal to have Swoobat Simple Beam into Geomancy or Skill Swap? It, wait, did I just dodge? Did Calyrex just dodge two hits? Incineroar 2 is simply built different. I don't know what to tell you guys. Got a question for a build. Is it optimal to have Swoobat Simple Beam into Geomancy or Skill Swap? It learns both. Simple Beam is probably a little bit more usable. You know? Skill, I don't know. If you're doing it, here's here's how you have to look at it. Do you prefer keeping Fairy Aura up? First of all, I don't recommend it because I think that any kind of like simple into Geomancy is bound to fail um, because you just fake out and the human played. It, it's 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 pretty unreliable. It's it's mainly more of a meme in a lot of people's minds. Um, but if you were to, you have to ask yourself the question: Would I prefer to keep Fairy Aura up, or would I prefer to? Um, keep simple on my swoobat. Like that's that's the exchange you make. Or that's that's like the idea you have to go into it with. Like, do I want to do that or or that? You know. Like that's the real question. Okay, why do I feel like you're gonna crit your own Kyogre? Ah, I was really hopeful there. <laughs> I, I was pretty hopeful. Does Kelly live this? I feel like one of you lives this. No, big sad. That's fine. Uh, at this point, I'm in a pretty good spot. I'm just going to go ahead and send out the Regieleki and go for an Airstream into the into the Lando. And if I Airstream once, I should never be able to outspeed by... I shouldn't ever be able to get outsped by Kyogre. Also, the Kyogre is in range of Behemoth Blade, so that's kind of huge. Alright, we B-Blade there, uh, and we go for the Airstream. There's no way you live this. Right? There's no way it, it, it lives this, right? It's pretty strong, I hope. I don't know, I'm kind of I'm kind of concerned it might now. <laughs> That's not like he really does need damage back to us, though. Okay, they protect that. Um, that shouldn't save their Kyogre, though. And I still get the Airstream. What's everyone's favorite Marvel character? Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm very torn on that because I'm slowly starting to hate all of them. <laughs> They've taken so much money from me because I'm like, okay, I guess I'm going to watch this movie because all my other friends have. And then I watch the movie, and they're like, ah, yeah, now you gotta watch this movie with us. And I'm like, okay. Oh, but it won't make sense unless you've seen Blanco Dongo on Disney Ploop Ploop. Uh, and then I watch I watch Blanco Dongo on Disney Ploop Ploop. And then they go, you also have to watch Scrim Scrimbo McDingle on, on Disney Ploop Ploop before we watch Thor Love and Poop. Like, you know, like, they, they just... They just keep throwing it at me, and I'm just like, listen, I, I, I don't even want to keep up anymore. I'm no longer invested. And it's a hard thing to accept, you know? But Spider-Man is the answer. Alright, if he Tailwind's here, I've already matched it with Airstreams at this point. Yeah, the commitment is far too much. Wow, that is resisted. It's definitely a range of Max Lightning. Alright, um, so my play here, 
I'm going to say I have to double the Lando. Because I need to airstream here to make sure my Zacian outspeeds theirs. But the issue is, you know, if I, uh, if I don't KO the Lando, you know. Or was it? The issue is that if the airstream doesn't KO the Lando, I'm probably in the losing position. So I think I do have to double. And then next turn I win because I outspeed with both my Mons. Yeah, that's the play. There's no way they're going to get rid of the Ranked Ladder in, in Scarlet and Violet. I think they're going to actually make the Ranked Ladder a lot better. I think that's that's what they're going to do. They should definitely expand the Ranked Ladder. My, my hope is that they actually change how Master Ball works entirely. I'm personally a very big advocate for Master Ball being uh, just a top 500 moniker. Uh, so, you know, you combine all the tiers, but instead of being like, oh, you've ranked up for Master Ball, like... Um, uh, ad adopt like a, a ranking system that is similar to other games where it's it's all the same thing and you can fall between them but it's not going to be like you know annoying that you know you're going to be in master ball you're but you're at the bottom of master ball which is somehow worse than the top of ultra you know that's that's the annoying part the bottom of master is somehow better than the top of ultra or worse than the top of ultra i should live this Thank you, Reflect. Uh, Lando goes down in two turns. Yeah, I prefer an Overwatch-like rating system. Um, I should be able to B-Blade into you and go for a wild charge into you and then win. This could be kind of risky. I might knock myself out with Life Orb plus Recoil, but I don't think I do. They'd have to crit me, is the point. Yeah, I live that. Cool. So I should win. When Scrimblo scooped the poop, I clapped like a madman. Yeah, Marvel movies are insane like that. Osu, thank you so much for the sub. Alright, that is probably going into my Zacian, but I should tank that. No, it's going to a Leki. But yeah, uh, I have plus three speed on my Zacian now because I max airstreamed every turn. So I should outspeed them under Tailwind now. Nice. Good game. Cool. Does anyone even use Shield Dog? Shield Dog is exclusively for sort of gimmicky teams. Okay, I know this team. Oh. This is a team that, that, believe it or not, will lose to Calyrex. Yes. Yes, it will. I'm going to bring the Buzzwall and I'm actually going to bring the Zacian. Yeah. That's the game plan. That's the game plan. This is the team that got second at uh, Vancouver. It's a uh, Cortex VGC's team. <sighs> Gotta figure out base Calyrex so I can make base Calyrex riding a bike like Kermit the Frog as a thumbnail. That'd be funny, actually. They're really thinking here. They're really thinking. All right, there we go.
Cure of Talonflame, that's what I wanted. Okay. So. 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 We have a few options. Um, I could fake out Talonflame and go for the max uh, darkness and just get that KO. However, I really want to make this a buzzable game, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go for the fake out and the snarl. Actually, maybe I just allow Talonflame to exist this turn and go for light screen snarl. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to allow it to exist this turn. Tailwind, that's fine. Get the screen off. Uh, I may live this. I may live this. Who knows? Hailstorm. The snarl will matter quite a bit. Yep, I live. Awesome. Please uh, do not miss. That would be very bad and not good. Thank you for coming into my TED Talk. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. How comfortable am I um, giving up my Calyrex here? Because I definitely want a Spirit Break. I think I do give it up. I think I just give it up here. And I can attempt um, another Snarl. Flare Blitz. I was going to say, there's like a decent chance I could have lived that funny enough. Alright, if I can get the Spirit Break off, that's actually going to be huge for the end game. Alright, awesome. And now I'm going to do something very cool and very awesome, and if you don't appreciate it, you're not a true fan. I'm going to Airstream the Talonflame. <laughs> and if I don't get burned, we're like good. We're like set to win. Oh, I actually did a lot. That's got to be a crit. No? Okay. Yeah, I'm max speed. And I guess I could have done that. But also, um, I'm not really at the top of my game right now. So that would have been smarter if I just faked out and snarled. Why am I fake outing? I have to reflect. Airstream. And this was all in service to get Buzzwell on the field. That's all I wanted. And now I get the free plus one, and then their Tailwind runs out, and then I win. There's the Reflect. They have to crit me. Oh, well that is an issue. Um, but this this may KO anyways. And even then, I still just Airstream the next turn. Oh, they're really cutting me. They're really cutting my attack here. I suppose I could Knuckle though. Let's see if I crit. Oh, that didn't even come close.
Hmm. Okay, I believe they have... What is it? There's one more turn left to Tailwind. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to double the Talonflame. I want that speed boost. And I'm pretty sure this should do it, even if I don't get the KO with my Buzz Bowl. Either the, um, either the, either the Grim Snarl or the Hail will do the rest for me. As they do withdraw, that's fine. They go ditto. That's fine, I'm at minus one. And they're gonna copy the Buzz Bowl, so. Go for Flare Blitz, cool. doesn't quite do it, but that's fine. Alright. Uh, I can airstream this ditto and actually get my Zacian in, and then it'll give me a pretty decent speed boost. And then I have Fake Out in the back, which is going to be super valuable. Opposing team's Tailwind ran out. Awesome. I'm also at plus two speed with my Buzzwell, so I should be faster than Ditto. Um, it might be a tie if it's Scarfed. Actually, no, they're faster if it's Scarfed, but it shouldn't matter. There's Caloric Shadow. I still have my light screen, don't I? Yeah, I still have four turns of light screen. So we're actually going to get the Zacian in here. And go for this Airstream. On the Ditto. Nice little speed boost. And we might get an attack boost. Possibly. Buzzle is also definitely faster than Calyrex and it's Scarf now. Going beat, that's not going to do nearly enough. Uh, they do win the speed tie, or no, they're faster because it's 1.5 times 1.5 instead of plus 2. Yes, it does drop the stat drops and buffs. However,. I'm at minus one, so we're good. Astro Barrage, it's not even going to come close. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and close combat the Ditto and go for a Behemoth Blade into Calyrex. Actually, no, that's not what I do at all. I go for Behemoth Blade into the Ditto, and I go for a Leech Life into Calyrex, I think. And that'll let me survive. Just barely, though. No, it copies the drops, too. Yep, they withdraw the ditto, so I'm going to get rid of that. And ditto's going to have to come back in and copy my buzz bowl. Which is still, again, at minus one attack. Alright, let's get a little bit of health back. I should now take the Astral Barrage. And I'm going to take this Karim away from them.
We're gonna barrage. Should tank that. Nice. Okay. Alright, uh, my prediction, close combat into the Zacian. So I'm going to protect. And I'm going to hope that this dueling beat does it. It probably won't, though. There's no way they dueling beat my guy. They want a close combat Zacian to make sure I can't KO their Calyrex. Hey, okay, come on, please KO. Dual wing beat? Oh, come on! Ah, oh, alright, well that sucks. I got the play right too. That really sucks. Uh, there is a way to win this. Unfortunately, it, it literally comes down to, um... It literally comes down to them whiffing a high horsepower. Or two, technically. Oh wait, no, I have fake out on Grim Snarl! I forgot I have fake out on Grim Snarl. <laughs> okay, this is winnable. Fake out. Big tech. You have played should KO, and that should be game. You don't take this. No way. You're you're no Incineroar two. If he was Incineroar two, he would have tanked that. I just want to let you guys know. Easy peasy. That's in range of Spirit Break. I Behemoth Blade. I Spirit Break. I rest my case. Good game. High horsepower? Good one. You're a ditto. You have ditto's HP. You do not take this hit. This bug resist fairy? No, but I don't want to risk a miss, and this definitely KOs. That's what I thought. Okay, awesome. Awesome. That was really close. I forgot I had the Grimstar on the back, to be honest.